This lesson deals with supplemental problem 8.1. You can find this problem in the course ebook in the chapter 8 supplemental problems on page 1. The circuit shown below is called a microphone mixer and takes several microphones and combines them into one channel output. Take a look at three microphones, but you could extend this to N if you wanted to. And we're going to solve for the voltage V out. Now our op-amp is ideal. Current that comes into this minus terminal or into this plus terminal is equal to zero because it's a very high resistance. And we have feedback around the output to one of the inputs. And so we're going to assume then that the voltage across these terminals will be driven to zero. So let's label those two things. So no voltage, no current. That's our property for ideal op amps. If you apply a voltage V1, V2, and V3, a current most likely will come out of these terminals, although we can assign any direction we want. So the voltage drop across here is going to be the following. The rise in voltage is V1, and the drop is this plus zero. So that means that this has to be equal to V1. And that makes the current in R1 V1 over R1. The same is true for R2, current flowing out of this terminal, would have a value of the voltage across this resistor divided by the resistance. The rise in voltage is V2, the drop is the voltage across this resistor plus zero. This would be V2, and likewise this would be V3. The current in the R1, V1 over R1, the current in R2, V2 over R2, and the current in R3, V3 over R3, those all come to this node. That's what enters the node, and what leaves the node is going to be zero plus the current in this resistor. This will be the sum of those three currents. This will again cause a voltage to drop across here. And now I can solve for V out. So the rise in voltage equals the drops around the loop. So a rise in voltage of V out, a rise in voltage of the voltage across R sub F, and a drop of zero. Because of the signs here, I'll have to write two equations. Let me show you a little trick I like to use. You could write this rise in voltage as a drop if we change the sign of the answer. So the rise in voltage would be V out. The drop would be a minus this current times R sub F plus a drop of zero. And that's the equation right over here. Now a little simple way to remember this, if you take a rise in voltage, Another rise in voltage, when you run into the minus sign, would be a drop of the negative value. So what I have to do then is take a rise in voltage, put it on the left side of the equation, that's what I'm solving for, and set it equal to the drops. This would be a negative RF times the current that's in there, plus the drop of zero. So multiplying through by R sub F, I get R sub F over R1 times V1, R sub F over R2 times V2, RF over R3 times V3. So we've got a summation here, and then a change in sign. So we call this an inverting summer, besides being a microphone mixer. Now normally you pick these resistor ratios to be the same, so each microphone would get the same gain factor. But if you wanted to make one microphone louder than another, you could pick one of these ratios larger than another. And this is supplemental problem 8.1, a microphone mixer.